Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. It's a gorgeous day. It's about the middle of October here in Scotland, but the sun's out, it's blue sky. It's rather cold, <laughs> but, well, the roads are dry, it's lovely. The trees are all starting to turn. So it's a wee opportunity to get out on the wee bike and do this, well, what a wee short video. What was it going to be called video today? It was going to be called Drifting Away. <laughs> yeah, so let's all go and drift away on this little run today. The wee bike's going well. Uh, yeah, the Bonneville, it's off the road for the winter now. It'll not be back out till the spring. The tiger will go away again, probably in the next maybe month or so, and it will be away for a few months as well. The wee trusty Enfield, it will be kept, kept on the road all winter, and if there's an opportunity for him to maybe get out and, and run it. But anyway, the idea was to go out for a wee run, just a wee short run in my, some of my local roads, and look at the lovely colours and the scenery. You see the tapestry of colours as we go through the trees up here. This is true autumn. This is lovely. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so lucky where I live. But there was a reason for calling the video Drifting Away. It wasn't just plucked out of thin air. I was hoping to give you a new experience. Hopefully bring on something a bit different to the channel. I think what we'll do is, once we get into around these corners, we'll hopefully try and explain what, what I mean. Yeah, I was hoping to bring you a, a be much better immersive experience of the channel. So this is what we've been kind of, the, how things have been for quite a long time. Uh, but it's all about to change. And it'll change just around this corner or two. <laughs> I'll keep the tension going. Yeah, this will be worth waiting for guys. Just bear with me. Yeah, this whole new immersive experience is just about to start. If I just cover up the camera for a few moments and now this is the new experience. A completely new video setup completely new cameras, a new immersive experience on the channel. Hopefully this is going to give way better uh, video production and hopefully way better sound as well. I hope you've instantly noticed the difference in quality of the picture and the quality of, of, the, of my voice. Yeah, the reason it was called drifting away we're in a transition period. I'm drifting away from the drift action cameras that I've been using for a lot of years. They've been robust and reliable. Uh, but they've had their limitations. One of the limitations has been the field of view you get in front of you. The ability to see the controls, the handlebars, a much more riding experience. Being stuck on the side of the helmet, it kind of, you missed quite a lot. So uh, hopefully this will be much, much better. What a gorgeous day. Well, hopefully these will show the colours off. This is the first uh, opportunity I've had to use the system, so I'm learning as well. So there will potentially be improvements coming once I get back to home and edit this video. I'm not quite sure how it's all going to turn out. But as you can see, I've, been, I've invested in new cameras. Uh, two brand new cameras, two brand new DJI Action 5 Pros. <laughs> yeah, uh, expensive, a lot of money. But what I did do was I had an old uh, Mavic Air drone and I, I had more than one uh, drift camera that I've collected over the years. So I've sold uh, three of them. I sold a, a DJI Pocket, which I thought would be great for the channel, but in reality I never really used it. So I sold a whole lot of stuff on, the, on eBay and I got a whole lot of money back for it. So I, I thought rather what I can do is you get rid of the stuff that I don't use and put that money towards stuff that I will use. 
so I've got new cameras uh, and it's really haven't really cost me very much money at all and hopefully the channel will improve hopefully the sound will improve as well because I'm no longer using a, a wired Lavalier microphone in my helmet I was using it for the introduction because I was still using the, the drift system uh, but this one here is a, a radio a DJI Mic 2 it's a radio mic so it's, it's, it's a Bluetooth connection basically from the microphone out to the camera mounted in the front of my helmet so there's no wires attached which is really a clean setup as well so it just sits inside the helmet really, really nicely. Now the wee camera's down in the handlebars, it's just taking a picture of me. Me, me, see, yeah, me. Uh, <laughs> so again, that can be repositioned to give different views. It doesn't have to always look at me. I'll put it up the speed a wee bit and see what it's like if we go a wee bit faster. The way I normally go up this plane. <laughs> just to see what the sounds like and see what the engine sounds like as well and see what you think of this this viewpoint I've been up this road hundreds if not thousands of times over the years it's absolutely wonderful reached the, the top of the glen just now. In the summertime, normally you come up here and you look down that valley down here and it takes you right off to the Glen Eagles Hotel and it's always us. But the hills and the sun's on the hills, it's beautiful. And also the verge is here. It's all the... It's all can die back at the moment. But in the, in the springtime, that's all covered in yellow broom and it's a massive colour. This whole hillside is bright bright yellow is absolutely stunning it's always a sad time of year this gets to the end of the season it gets autumn's yeah, here to stay in the next week or so you'll see it change again it'll be a lot more wetter the leaves will be off the trees the roads will be covered in They'll be wet, slippery, covered in, covered in the dead leaves on them. Uh, and then winter over here. <laughs> God, I hate winter. I hate the cold. It's a shame we're a wee bit in the shade at this point. Normally when the sun streams through the trees here, uh, the, the light reflecting off all the leaves, it looks absolutely stunning. The, angle of the sun isn't quite right today unfortunately but if I take this camera view away and if I switch back to the the drift camera and you'll see a difference hopefully yeah if we jump between the two cameras you'll see what the improvement is because I'm not only switching the picture I'm switching the sound as well so hopefully you'll see a much clearer uh, sound. So this wee road is, is the, the road that goes up Glen Devon and goes up into Glen Eagles where we are just now. It's, it's a, not a very long road but it's, it's, it's very pretty. It's a gateway to much finer roads further north. I think up through Creef and Loch Ern Head up towards Glen Coe in the north. Lovely wee road to come up. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this wee short video. Uh, I'm going to end it just at this roundabout just up here. Uh, hope, hopefully, you'll have seen the difference. Hopefully, you agree that the money's been well spent in improving the equipment we have for the channel and it only bodes well for the future in some much much better quality videos coming out I'm always striving to improve it's not always easy and it's not always cheap <laughs>
that uh, roundabout here, that's the Glen Eagles one. That's their golf clubs on the on the middle of the roundabout because Glen Eagles is very famous for golf. I'm going to head back down the Glen again in this direction and head back for for home. Anyway, take care, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this wee video, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.